Alright, it's Night Stalker Splatin time. Hi, Lily. Naughty children run from their punishment. But we'll find Betty. Won't be Leo. Uh I'm looking into the Night Stalker mutation. Wanna come with me? Oh no, dearie. Three makes a crowd. Okay, in that case. Arcade? You're gonna fucking hate me, but uh Sure. Just sort of trample your ass all the way back to base. Oh, I thought my charm could win. Yeah, just in lucky thirty-eight. Ah, back to the tomb, I suppose. If you need me, etc. I will. I will tell you when I need you. Thanks, man. My, but that lucky thirty-eight is a large building, and so fancy. Well, how did you, uh, just come along? Ooh, those night stalkers, always killing my big horners. It'll be nice to give them a piece of my mind. You actually turn invisible. Well, that's great. Okay. North to Charleston Cave. Ah, we've got to leave out of here, get round the palisade. And then it's creepy snake dog stomping time. Are they snake coyotes? Got a problem, could use your help. Been having trouble with NCR mercs harassing the town, and they just showed up again. Ah, oh, shit. Really? How have they been harassing the town? Killing our bighorners, shooting at the lodge, that sort of thing. It's getting hard to keep people from retaliating. Sure they work for the NCR? Guess I can't say for sure if they're NCR. Wherever they are, they want us dead or gone. Okay, what do you want me to do? You're human. They might be willing to listen to what you have to say. Maybe. I'm not asking you to kill them. Just talk them into leaving. Hell, pay them off if you have to. I'll see what I can do, man. Thanks. No problem, Marcus. See you. Alright, where are these fucking mercs? Ah, right over here. All right, assholes. Seriously, you've got metal armor. I can't wait to get the rest of our pay for this job. Antimaterial plasma and an assault carbine. You're not going to be able to take out an entire group. Our business is with the muties, not you. What do you want with Jacobstown? Just doing what I'm paid to do: harass the muties until they leave or attack us. If they leave, we'll let them go. If they attack, we wipe them out. You're not going to wipe Either them way, out, the mate. job's not done until they're cleared out of the town. Who are you doing this for? Won't name names, but some important folks in the NCR are sick of muties attacking their Brahmin herds. They want them gone from NCR territory. Maybe this group had something to do with attacking Brahmin, maybe not. Doesn't matter. We're getting paid to make them go away. Yeah, go away, or you'll have to deal with me, and you'll wish you were fighting super mutants instead. I've always known when to fight and when to back down, and it seems to me I ought to back down this time. My men and I are leaving. You won't see us around here again. Thank you. That was easy. Right. Let's get to Charleston Cave. And fuck up some Night Stalkers. But first, Lily, tell me about yourself. Grandma's so worried about her little baby. It's getting dangerous out there in the wasteland. I have some questions to talk. Such a curious little munchkin, aren't you? What do you want to know? Tell me about yourself. Oh, someone wants to hear Grandma's stories. What would you like to hear, Pumpkin? 
Uh, where did you come from? I grew up in Vault 17. I never even saw the sun until I was 75 years old. That was when super mutants raided the vault and carried a lot of us off. Yes, Leo, I'm getting to that part. Oh they made me one of them, and they put me to work in an army that was going to conquer California. You were a soldier? A spy. Sometimes an assassin. I killed a lot of folks for the master. Yes, Leo, you helped too. Who's the master? Oh, he was a nasty man, dearie. You don't want to know about him. He was the one who made that super mutant army I told you about. Okay, well, tell me oh. something else. Who's Leo? Leo is a very bad man, Pumpkin. Yes, you are, Leo. Don't try to deny it. I'm gonna he guess that's your other personality. Things. Terrible things. And sometimes the medicine isn't enough to keep him quiet. But there's no one there. Well, of course there is, dearie. How else could I hear him tell me who to chop? Oh. So, where do you get that sword? This old thing? Oh, I scavenged it off a wreck in Klamath. Leo showed me how to make it all ready for chopping. Didn't you, Leo? That was nice of him. Oh! Never mind. Um... See ya. Right, Charleston. Good view over Jacobstown. I'm surprised that the mutants... Well, somebody didn't get here and occupy the place before the mutants did. The snow means there's plenty of fresh water. Unless the radiation got up here too, but I doubt you'd nuke it. Friggin' holiday resort. Nobody's that craven. Actually, who am I kidding? This place is probably chock a block with military frigging installations. More than likely got pasted. There's still trees, there's plenty of life. Eh, I guess it's not too great for farming. Eh, a rock filled with scrap electronics, just what I always wanted. Okay, let's play this nice and quiet. Nice and quiet. We got one. There we go. That's one of them dealt with. Shit. Two. Yeah, I want you guys to stay behind me. Best not take these things up close. They are vicious, as vicious could be. Oof. Looks like they tore some people to pieces when they were making camp. Microfusion cells. Uh-oh, we got incoming. Thanks, boy. Holy crap, there's going to be a lot of them, isn't there? Well, I'm going to be guessing best way to deal with them. Ow. Ow, that hurts so very much. Why do I always do this to myself? Okay, that's... Two of them down. 
Somebody hit them. Boom, there goes another. Well, we definitely know we're here. Oh, my grenade got one of them. Plus my arm. Pit boys found us a friend. Boom. Fuck. Oh shit. Lily. I found your big hurt. Big horners. Sorry, girl. Chewed stealth boy. Looks like been, they've been gnawing on the things. And there's a pretty amazing hammer. Get behind Grandma, sweetheart. Rexy, you found him. Good work. Ooh, this place is ratatastic. Let's get up and out of here. It's a natural maze. Head up. Up is good. Up is the way to go. Okay, we're back to this section. Oh, the left fork had nothing in it. And we're safe. Whew. I've been holding my breath there for a while. Okay, let's go tell Marcus that the uh, Merc situation is done. Uh, what's the story with Keen, by the way? Smart, charismatic, hell of a mean streak. Doesn't care for humans, prefers fighting them to talking. He's got a lot of pull with Nightkin, though. He talks, they listen. Was hoping he could draw the Nightkin to Jacobstown. Keen is saner than most, but I know he's thinking of going his own way again. He's aggressive, impatient, can't stand sitting around. Uh, so you're a mutant, wouldn't Nightkin listen to you? <laughs> That's like saying Kaisar and Kimball would listen to each other. Nightkin don't have a lot of trust for others, mutants included. Ah, uh, so what happens if Keen leaves? That happens. There's a good chance other Nightkin will follow. It'll make it hard to get a cure to them. Worse. If Keen and the Nightkin tear up the Mojave hunting for stealth boys, people are going to get killed. Most humans can't tell the difference between mutants. Might come here looking for payback. So why does Keen want to leave? Because of a promise, one I haven't been able to keep. The Nightkin all suffer from schizophrenia. It's the stealth boys they use, or used to use. Nightkin have a hard time being seen like normal folks. Can't stand it. A few already left to try and find more stealth boys miserable situation. They either stay here and suffer, or dig up stealth boys and lose their minds. Not much of a choice. There is only a limited supply of stealth boys. I'm guessing no one's manufacturing right. them anymore. 
And I was like, the top line of American military technology. There are a surprising amount of them left, though. Anyway, your Merc problem's sorted. Good. Glad you didn't kill them. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not going to get it from us. Amaste, brother. Amaste. Si. Alright. Now, let's get this chewed up stealth boy to the dock. Hey, Calamity. Hey there. Uh, never mind. Dottore. Is there something else I can... I found this in, uh... Night Stalker lair. Hmm. There's still power, but the casing is cracked. I'm astonished that exposure to the stealth radiation could induce mutation so rapidly. More importantly, this explains why my research into this group of Night Stalkers hasn't come up with a cure for the Nightkin. There's only one avenue left for me. I need to run the Mark II test on Lily. It's the only way. What are the risks of the experiment? Possibly immediate and permanent metal damage. There's a reason the Stealth Boy Mark II has never got beyond the prototype stage. Oh, Lily goody. already has a pre-existing condition, and the experiment will likely make things worse for her. Why Lily and not some other nightkin? Lily is eccentric, certainly, but I've never felt she was dangerous. More importantly, she asked if she could help me in some way. I've told her about the risks, and she still insists on helping me. Uh, I'll talk to her. I'll be waiting. Is there something else I can do? How goes the research? Any luck? Promising, but I won't be able to synthesize the drug anytime soon. I really should get back to my work. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, Lily. Hello again, dear. Hey, Nana. Do you still, by any chance, want to help Dr. Henry? Of course, dearie. I know it's dangerous, but it'll all turn out for the best. You'll see. I'll go to him now. It would be rude to keep him waiting. Uh, the equipment is hooked up and ready. We can start the test as soon as you give me the go-ahead. Go ahead. Very well. Please, stand back. I don't want any erroneous readings. You're welcome to stay and observe if you want, though. All right, power on the stealth boy, Lily. Turning it on. Feels strange. Strange, but good. Interesting. Try thinking aggressive thoughts now. Think about smashing a rad scorpion. Lily smash! Yeah! How are those readings looking, Calamity? Stealth field is unstable and scrambling things. The reading says gamma wave activity is zero, but that can't possibly be right. Gamma wave activity is zero. That can't be right. It must be a result of the interference. All right, we're done here. Go ahead and power the stealth boy down, Lily. Oh, I liked having it on. I'll get back to you on that in a moment, once I've analyzed the results. Uh-oh. Well, well, oh congratulations on getting the Mark II prototype functional, Doctor. Now, just hand it over, and we'll be on our way. Okay. My request is perfectly reasonable. Give us the stealth boy specs, and there will be no need for us to splatter the room with your insides. What you do in the wasteland affects all of the mutants here. Didn't think about that, did you, before you start going around with a Mark II stealth boy. No, I didn't. Not until now, anyway. Very well, human. You've made your point, and I withdraw my request. That Someone was watching me. 
surprisingly easy. Nice work with the Nightkin. I've never seen anyone able to talk their kind out of anything once they had their minds set to it. I got a lot of useful data from the experiment, and am a lot closer to a cure than before. It's occurred to me that this brief test might not yield a cure anytime soon. However, if Lily were to continue to wear the prototype... Ugh, use neuropeptide stimulators on a Night Stalker brain. Results should have similar to a live brain. That's... brilliant. Simple yet elegant. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Well, I picked up a few tricks in my time in the Mojave. Then you're not fucking around with poor Lily. Is there something else I can do? Hello. God damn it all. Bother I... someone else. Bother someone else. Why are the Nightkin here in Jacob's The stealth boys we use have cumulated. Never mind. Okay. Hey, Lily. Hello again. Let's go together. Hello again. Yeah, I have some questions. What's the best way to use your skills? Is it not sweet of you to fret about me? Such a good boy. I can always help you stay hidden from the bad people so you won't get in trouble. I don't mind fighting, especially to protect you, dearie, but I don't like guns. Give me a good chopper, and Leo and I will go right to work. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. So, um, where do you come from again? So, what happened after the whole army thing? That wicked old master got what was coming to him, that's what. After his cathedral blew up, I decided it was high time to go home. So, who is Leo? So he's just a voice you hear in your head. You shouldn't say things like that where Leo can hear you, dearie. He doesn't like it. Okay, noted. Noted, noted. Never mind. Let's get going. I hope it will snow later. Where is Marcus? Hey, Marcus. I like how you handled Keen. Without the Nightkin around, Jacobstown would be much weaker than it is. So, got some questions. How does the town support itself? Bighorners. Good eating. And we can trade the hides. Got a lot of wild ones around here, so it's easy to restock the herd. Okay. Right. Well, I guess... Let's go visit old lady Gibson. It's gonna be a trek. So, tell me some stories. Hmm. Okay, surprisingly a crazed old super mutant lady. Pretty interesting stories. More interesting traveling companion than Boone. So... Old Lady Gibson, where are you? Hi, OLG. So, you're back! Dr. Henry sent me. I need a new brain for my cyberdog. Dr. Henry? Now there's a name I haven't heard in years. Hard to believe he's still alive. Yeah, sh As for your request, it's uh, a bit ghoulish if you ask me, but... Ray is pretty old, and I'll probably have to put him down soon enough. As for the price for this favor, 700 caps sounds about right. Ray's like family, and I've got other dogs to take care of. So, how did you meet Dr. Henry? He and I had joined up with the same caravan. 
add in a lot of whiskey and, huh, well, let's just say we got to know each other. Oh, God, it's like corpses rubbing together. Here's the money. Here, Ray. Mama's got something for you. <laughs> Jesus. That was ghoulish. That was beyond ghoulish. Screw this, let's get the fuck out of here. Alright. Hopefully synthesize a cure by some point. Dr. Henry! Hi, Doctor. Is there something else I can... Yeah, go on your brain. Very well. Show me what you brought so that I can analyze its potential. It's one of old Lady Gibson's. It was a horrifying experience. Please don't make me do this again. All right, let's see here. Neural pathways look good. Definitely a breed of guard dog. If I transplant this brain into Rex, he'll be a bit more ferocious in his attacks. I doubt he could get any more ferocious. Just stick it in. Have a seat. This will take a while. Hmm. Got any biscuits or something I can enjoy whilst you're fucking around with a dog? Hey, Rexy. How's your shiny new brain? How are you feeling? You certainly look better. Alright. Thanks, Is Doc. Is there something else I can do for you? Nope. Hey there. Well, let's take you back to the king. Rexy, let's take you back to your daddy. Your other daddy. Not that I don't love you, boy. Come along. Yeah, we're surprisingly non shooty day in the middle of Freeside. Must be up to Personal a new cyber attack dog. To you, guy? Yeah, talk to my super mutant grandmother. Hey, Kingy, e, look who I brought back. Why, Rexy, you look all better, boy. Good as new. Did my Rexy get a new brain? Yes, he did. You're a man of your word, no doubt about it. I can't thank you enough. If you want, hold on to Rex for a little while longer. I'm sure he'd enjoy that. Was there anything else you wanted? Ah, uh, not really. All right. I'll see you l I'm just gonna use him to viciously assault members of Caesar's Legion.